Welcome to the second video in this series on how to use SynthEdit to program your own VSTs. In this video, we're going to continue the basic synth that we began building in the first video. We're going to add some controls, change some properties, and more, so let's get started. Here we add the synth that we left off with at the end of the first video. Technically, I guess you could call it a synth, but right now it's just an oscillator outputting a waveform to our sound outputs. Not very interesting, is it? First off, we'd like to be able to control the pitch that this oscillator is outputting. Right now it's giving us the default value, but we want to be able to control it ourselves. There are several controls that can do this, but for this example, let's add a knob control. To do this, right-click on the project window, go to Insert, go down to Controls, and select Knob. Doing that gives us this knob with one output plug, which we're going to connect to the pitch input plug on our oscillator. Now, when I hit play and turn this knob, I'm able to control the pitch that the oscillator is producing. Modules can have what's called parameters, which can be modified by controls. In this case, the pitch parameter of the oscillator module is being modified by this knob control. Using a control module is one of the ways that you are able to define parameters with SynthEdit. The other way is through the Properties window. To get to the Properties window, right-click on the module that you want to edit parameters for and go down to Properties. This brings up the Properties window. Here we can see all the various parameters that we are able to adjust. If I press play and I change the waveform to triangle, you can hear the difference. So, when should you use the properties window and when should you add a control? Simple. Anytime you want to edit a parameter live while using the synth, add a control. For example, a pitch bend or a volume control needs to be adjusted while the program is in use. However, you may want to set a certain value and leave it, such as the waveform. Perhaps you want that to stay a triangle wave in your synth. Then in that case, you would set that parameter in the Properties window. So, what control would you use if you wanted to change the waveform live? If you notice, over here on the oscillator module, we have an input plug called Waveform, but it's green instead of blue. SynthEdit will only let you connect inputs and outputs that have similar signals, and it helps you visualize this by the color of the plug and patch cord. Green plugs are used for list choices. Right-click the project window and go down to Controls, and select List Entry. Here we have a List Entry module with a green choice plug. Let's connect the choice plug to the waveform plug on the oscillator module. If you grab the bottom right corner of the list entry module, you can resize it. Now, as you see, the list entry module has been automatically populated with the choices that we have regarding the waveform. Now if we hit play, we can adjust the waveform that the oscillator is producing from within our interface, and not through the properties window. So, to sum up, we've taken our basic synth and added a way to control the pitch, as well as the waveform that the oscillator is producing. Also, we covered the properties window and when to use it as opposed to when to add a control. In the next video, we'll look at adding a filter to our synth. We'll take a look at the front panel or the GUI of our VST and we'll look at exporting our VST so that it can be used in your DAW. Thanks for watching and see you next time.